There's a law that Congress passed back in 1976 that sets out how a president can declare a national emergency and how Congress can end that national emergency by legislation. The law doesn't really set very many limits on uh, how a president can declare a national emergency or for what reason. He just has to do it publicly and then periodically report to Congress uh, about the ongoing emergency. There have been about five dozen national emergencies declared since that law was passed, and there are a couple of dozen still in effect today. So they've been used for a variety of purposes. Uh, the president has to do very little in terms of justifying the emergency. That is to say that the law doesn't really set out any requirements, just that he has to declare it publicly and report periodically. One of the issues that may be tested in the courts is under what circumstance the president can declare a national emergency. And the critics of, the, of, of this current declaration uh, have already said that uh, it's clearly not an emergency because they say the president has been talking about it for weeks, that even at his press conference today he said he didn't need to do this, but he just wanted to uh, get the wall built faster. So that's surely going to be an issue in the litigation as it goes forward. Certainly uh, people who own land, private landowners along the border whose property might be needed to build a wall certainly would almost certainly be able to go to court to, uh, to contest that. Uh, it's possible that the House of Representatives itself, uh, Speaker Nancy Pelosi said yesterday that, that the House might file its own lawsuit. Democratic attorney generals have said they might go to court. The administration says it's going to use um, a law that uh, that deals with military construction. And it's possible that the administration will take money from a congressionally approved construction projects and shift it to build the wall. It's possible under those circumstances that even some a contractor uh, who had been uh, uh, hired to build uh, something at some military base elsewhere in the country and who sees that contract either delayed or cut back could even go into court to, to challenge this. So there's any number of, of people and parties that might be able to do it. Uh, it's a pretty open question in the courts because there hasn't really been much in the way of litigation regarding presidential declarations of national emergencies. Well, the, the president hasn't explained why he waited until now. Uh, and it's one of the questions that uh, will certainly be explored in lawsuits that are filed over, over the declaration. Um, so we don't have an answer to that question. Uh, it's, it's, he, he did say today that he didn't, he didn't need to do this, but he wanted to, to build the wall faster. Um, again, these, will all, these are all likely to be issues in, in the litigation as it goes forward. The order is signed. And uh, I'll sign the final.